How's it going, Young Living? Stevie Baggs Jr. here checking in. I want to answer a few questions that some of our great distributors have uh, for the Sleek 60 Challenge. In addition to the questions, I'll tell you guys how I got started with Young Living and um, my favorite products. So here we go. Um, I got started with Young Living by getting introduced to um, the YL products in Calgary, Alberta, Alberta, when I was playing for the Stampeders in my last year as a pro football um, athlete. And um, I, I met, you know, Jared Turner, I met Gary Young, I met Ali Bimji, and a few of the other notables with the company, and uh, the rest is history. And not only am I a proud distributor, but I'm also uh, one of the brand ambassadors that goes all around the world and helps tell people and spread the love and joy of what Young Living can do uh, not only for individuals but for families and communities as a whole. So that's how I got started with Young Living. Um, um, my favorite wild product. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys two. I have a favorite, um, two favorite supplements and two favorite oils. Okay, my favorite supplement is for sure Pure Protein Complete Vanilla and um, Nitro. I use Nitro. Um, pretty much twice a day, maybe, um, right before my workout and probably um, during the middle part of the day to kind of get me over that lull, you know, at like 2 or 3 o'clock p.m. to kind of like push me through the latter part of my day. Um, I use Pure Protein Complete typically after a workout, but depending on my training regimen, I'll increase my, you know, my dosage of Pure Protein Complete just for not only recovery and amino acid intake, but just to get a meal replacement in um, so I can eat, help me eat a little cleaner for the week. Uh, my favorite two oils are um, lemongrass and thieves, of course. And so lemongrass for the aromatic smell that I, I use it in my cafe, I use it in my home. I, I, I use lemongrass all day, every day. I just love the way it smells. And so the aromatic properties of lemongrass is very tranquil to me. Um, and thieves, of course, just increases my vitality overall. I love, I love the properties of thieves and, and what thieves brings to the table um, as one of the most powerful essential oils that we have. Um, so let's go. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna answer some questions here. So I have Tanya Webb. Tanya Webb asked, "What's the best way to do crunches?" I've been doing. I've been using the ball to help not strain my neck. Okay, so the best way to do crunches is to actually not use your neck. So you, you try to keep your chin up. And if you keep your chin up on the way up and on the way down, that way you're able to um, emphasize the muscle usage being on the stomach as opposed to being on your neck where you're straining the neck. So always keep your chin up when you're doing crunches. That's a great question. Next question is Jessica Travis, I think I named, I said it right. I'm sorry about that, Jessica. She says, weight training versus cardio, which is better for losing fat? Great question. A lot of folks um, think that just doing cardio is the best way to lose fat. And cardio helps tremendously, but you got to know that when you're doing cardio, you're only burning calories and fat for the most part when you're on the machine or when you're running or when you're walking or when you're doing your biking. But when you stop doing cardio, Usually, shortly after that is when you stop burning calories and fat. Um, so you got to remember that. Now, weight training, on the other hand, weight training, when you weight train, you burn calories and fat throughout the day. So it's, um, it's incumbent of us to combine the two. A lot of people, um, to lose fat, try to do fasted cardio in the morning and incorporate some weight training throughout the day to help burn calories and fat a little bit faster. So great question, Jessica. Laura Thompson says, how do you deal with um, interruptions and uh, interruptions to your routine? I was in a great workout routine until some things derailed me, found myself. Yep, yep, yep. Trying to figure out how to get back on track and fit my workouts in. I want to become more flexible so that no matter what the workouts happen, any tips? Okay, so here's the deal. When you're doing your training, um, I think there's a difference between training and working out. Some people work out just because they want to reach a certain goal. I think when you train, when you train, it's a way of life. And so when you train, you, you, no matter what, it's, uh, it becomes a part of your regimen 
throughout your day. We have, we all have children. We all have, well, we all don't have children, but those of us who have children, those of us who have, or are entrepreneurs who like all the, all of our young living distributors, you're always, you're always trying to build a team. And for the hydrant entrepreneurs who do young living and, um, that also have a, a, a normal nine to five, if you would, um, it's very difficult. So you have to find time to make it a priority and make it a part of your everyday lifestyle. And I think you do that by training instead of just working out. That's one of my tips. Um, Jennifer Cumming, I want to start working out my arms at the gym. Any suggestions for a beginner who is slightly intimidated by the machines? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I love machines because machines are always good to help you learn how to control the weight. But there's nothing better than free weight. Uh, when you're doing free weight workouts, um, the, the free weight help you not only use and leverage the muscles that you're trying to build, whether it's your biceps or triceps or shoulders, but if you use your core and tighten your core during those exercises, it helps even with that to uh, strengthen the core area. So I, I would say um, one tip I would give you is to do lighter weight, more reps, and always use your core and have a balanced stance when you're doing each exercise. Great questions, guys. Uh, Last but not least, uh, Sarah Robinson, what's a good all body workout exercise I can do in 10 to 20 minutes for those mornings I'm rushed and need to stay on track? Oh, I got you. I got you. Um, burpees are a great exercise because you get cardio. And if you incorporate um, push ups in there, you're going to get an upper body, shoulder, core workout in addition to the squats with your burpees if you jump. So that's a good uh, warm up to warm up with burpees. Then you can do lunges. You can do, um, you can also do um, sit-ups or crunches, and um, I call them uh, modified jacks. You can do regular jumping jacks, or then you can do jumping jacks where you squat, and that helps tremendously um, when you're doing your exercises. So I think that's it on the questions. But let's see here. Okay, yeah, I think that's it on the questions, guys. So I have one of my friends that wants to come say bye to you, all you young living people. Come here. You've been trying to get on camera, so let's go. Uh, say bye, young living. Hi, honey. Bye, young living. Hi. <laughs> that's my daughter, you guys. Honor. Say bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> all right, see you later, guys. Ciao.